Welcome to the podcast that passes poor performance on pop culture. I'm one of your hosts, Darren Duncan, alongside with my best friend, Audie Marsh. We're just a couple of cool cats casually causing some chaos with conversation. We're here to entertain you, not hurt your feelings, so don't blame us. You ain't nothing but a podcaster, talking all the time. What's up, dude? What's up? <laughs> I've yet to see it. I want to see it. It's fucking sweet. Is it? Talking about but Elvis, God. by the way. Yeah, but God damn, it is long, dude. Like two hours and 39 minutes. Yeah, it is fuck. They could have easily chopped 40 minutes out of that fucking movie, man. Yeah. But like the performances were real fucking long. Like they could, if they could have, like we get it. He's fucking playing a show like you don't have to play the whole fucking song. You know what I mean? Like there was a lot right. of that shit, but no, it was fucking amazing. I loved because like he, I don't know. A lot of people are like, oh, he stole rock and roll from the black man and shit. And like they totally acknowledge that they showed a lot of that. But it like they didn't look at it as if he stole it. It was just like he was super fucking inspired by black music, you know. And Right. Well, blues, the right? Way the, Wasn't it like blues? Rhythm and blues, yeah. And then he kind of took the fucking, uh, added the white country, the doom, 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 doom to it. You know what I mean? Right. But it's just fucked up to think about how different the times were because I know I've said this before a million times on the podcast, but like he got thrown in fucking jail for shaking his hips. And it's like, could you imagine fucking those people at a Manson show? You know? Yeah. That's like, uh, it's almost like the Salem witch burnings. <laughs> yeah right yeah it was just it's just fucking crazy to think about like just because he shook his dick around a little bit it's like jim, like uh jim morrison and then so elvis pretty much paved the way in all aspects right. of everything yeah dude because this was like 19 fucking 55 yeah and uh he, dude he was 42 when he died i can't believe how young he was yeah, like he holy like shit. shit yeah he did not look good that's what fucking pills will do to you that's what that's what the industry will do to you, man. Because it's like oh, right. he wanted to be independent, right? Kinda. I mean, like yeah. he fired his manager because his manager was just fucking bleeding him dry. He was a total scumbag, which I never knew. And like, apparently, like he wanted to fucking tour the world, and the manager was like, "Fuck that! You don't want to do that. It costs way too much money. It's too dangerous. Play at the fucking casino." And uh, he basically did that so he could fucking get his fucking debt wiped clean from the casino. And the motherfucker, right. like, nobody knew who his manager was because he didn't have a fucking passport and shit. Like, nobody, like, he had a fake name and shit. Like, mm. he was just a, a total scumbag piece of shit. <laughs> he was a fucking carnival guy. So that just shows you how fucking honest he was. He was a fucking carnival man. Hmm. But yeah, fuck him. It was just cool. I took my mom to go see it because she grew up with that shit and she liked cool. Elvis, so it was pretty fucking dope. It's pretty cool. Yeah, I, uh, yeah, it was pretty sweet. Ruby Ruby Graham said hello. What's happening today? We're gonna talk about a bunch of fucking dead Mexicans in a truck, Roe versus Wade, and Eric Smith. This fucking scumbag piece of shit. I fucking hate that guy. I don't know why yeah. he still. I don't know why he still works for Zobi. It's fucking bullshit. <laughs> don't they look kind of like the same? <laughs> They're not the same, dude. Oh, I They're thought what? we were talking about your buddy. <laughs> you, you know, if he had red hair, they could probably pass his brothers. I hope oh, he's yeah. watching too. He's not. He will. He don't like us. He's, he's he's too much of an O.J. Simpson fan to watch our Oh, podcast. absolutely. He did he's that pissed. shit. You, you want me to show you the gold or what? Yeah, yeah, let me see it. All right, man. All right, dude. You you are going to love this. I hope. Stay tuned. I got six people right now in. Just keep watching. Ben just popped in. Please keep watching. Oh, cool. Dude, I found this. Oh, man, this goes way back before you and me. That's why I'm right. so... See the glow? It's like I'm pregnant. You see my glow right now? Yeah. You, yeah, yeah, dude. Watch this. All right. God. All right. Hang on. It's going to be great. Mm. Give me a second. When we upload this to Spotify, the people listening are going to fucking love this part. <laughs> <laughs> 
All right, so what do you got going on here? Hang on. Why did it go to that one? Why is it sharing the, sh the screen I'm sharing? <laughs> anyway, keep talking. Let me go through these technical difficulties. Um, what is it? It's just it's pictures of your kids that you found. What is she wearing a fucking OJ jersey? <laughs> <laughs> kind of. Is that is that why I'm gonna love this so much? Yeah. Why did it share that one? I put that one. Chrome tab. We should totally do an episode on like the old school fucking rock and rollers. We did Club Twenty Seven. We should do like an episode on like musicians that the industry fucked over, like Judy Garland. Yeah, absolutely. Elvis. We could talk about fucking Frank Sinatra and shit. Now he was like, you know, involved with the mafia and shit. And I don't know why it's sharing the screen. I don't know why it's doing this. Yeah, that's super weird. I have no idea. Yeah, I don't either. I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. Uh, this is probably my last podcast I ever do. So anyway, anyway I'll, I'm, uh, I'll figure it out. You, I, I'm just going to throw it in there. You're going to be like, oh, my God. I'm taking applications for co-hosts. Yeah, I'm fired after this one. So <laughs> if you want to email us at Don't Blame Us Podcast, um, I don't have access to it no more. So <laughs> <laughs> Fuck them. What do you want to talk about first, man? You're the let's, one who showed me about these. Uh... So, so let's do. Uh, let's do. The 51 found and talk right. about the now as of right now, it's it, you know, it's still under investigation. So we don't know. I don't know for sure from what I've seen and read. Uh, but the things leading up to it, um, we can go into like border the border control, you know, how, how shitty it is. Um, basically the 51 dead bodies were immigrants from a drug, from what I understand, human trafficking, uh, and what, from what I read, um, yeah, they were probably coyotes. They were probably trying to fucking get people across the border for a fee, but they can't be trusted. Like a lot of them, they'll fucking, They'll put them in the back of a truck like that, go out to the desert, park the fucking truck, lock them in there, dude, and just dip. Like, they got their homeboy meeting them at a fucking meeting point. They get out of their truck, ditch the truck, hop in their homeboy's truck, drive off with all these fucking people's money, and they just sit there and cook in the back of this truck. It happens yeah. all the fucking time, dude. But yeah, for it to be, like, coyotes. all the way all the way in Texas, you know, like, how many of those trucks are they finding, like, in Mexico or... Or how many trucks are passing through with dead bodies. You know, um, so I'm going to try to show it. So you ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me see. All right, here you go. Come on, open up. So the headline of this is, uh, it says, Stacks of bodies, 51 people died in tractor trailer found in San Antonio, Mexico, officials say. So the death toll from a sweltering tractor trailer found on the southwest side of San Antonio has reached 51 fucking people, according to a spokesperson with Immigration and Customs Enforcement. Oh, did it. Oh, did it. Did it. <laughs> oh shit! She said OJ did it. Yeah, look, she's wearing a glove too. Look. Oh my. Oh, did it. Did it. <laughs> That's fucking hysterical. She's so little. Dude, right? That's fucking funny. That's our uh so I had our a new glove. spokesperson. Yeah. So there's a glove, a big ass glove in the living room. And I was like, perfect. I was like, Kaylee, take this glove, put it on, and say OJ did it. She's like, okay, daddy. And then That's boom, true. OJ did it was OJ born. OJ did it. OJ did it. <laughs> <laughs> and I got one, I got one more too. This one. All right. That one was the better one. I think. <laughs> That's fucking hysterical. Isn't Just to walk wild? around the grocery store saying that shit. <laughs> that's fucking funny. Oh, well. I thought it was great. No, that's awesome. <laughs> that's fucking hilarious. All right. So you want me to read this article? We can get into it. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. All right, so the death toll from sweltering tractor trailer found on the southwest side of San Antonio has reached 51. 
San Antonio, San Antonio authorities originally said that 46 people were found dead in the trailer on Monday evening, and a Baptist Health System spokesperson said another three people died after arriving at its downtown hospital. Another patient died in an area hospital, Bexar County Judge Nelson Wolf told the Associated Press on Tuesday. Among the dead were 39 males and 11 females. Apparently, the fucking, this guy, uh, Bexar County Judge, oh, I was like, this motherfucker's name, he has as many names as there are bodies in the back of this truck, but I read it wrong. I guess he's the Bexar County Judge Nelson Wolf. But I'm like, God damn, Bexar County Judge Nelson Wolf. I thought that was like his fucking name and shit. Fuck that guy, too. The people came from Mexico, Honduras, and Guatemala, according to Marcelo Ebrard, the Secretary of Foreign Affairs. A total of 16 people were initially transported to area hospitals following the discovery of the trailer, according to San Antonio police and fire officials. It's tragic, said San Antonio mayor. They had families and were likely trying to find a better life. It's nothing short of a horrific human tragedy. Authorities said it was the largest mass casualty event they've seen in San Antonio. Wait till a fucking kid picks up an AR-15 and walks into a mall. That'll change. We hope that those responsible for putting these people through such inhumane conditions are prosecuted to the full extent of the law. You think okay. it's cartel? No, fuck no. I think it was coyotes, dude. They were mm. just, they were smuggling people across the fucking border. They fucking paid a fee. Officials would not immediately confirm if the victims were migrants or what country they were from. San Antonio Police Chief William McManus said officers received a call 10 minutes before 6 p.m. So the block of Quintana Road, when a person working nearby heard a cry for help. When the worker approached, she saw several bodies inside an 18-wheeler trailer with its doors partially open. So that's that, that's what I think happened. I think it was a fucking a coyote. But, like, I don't know. Because, like, why would they, if it was a coyote, though, why would they bring them across the border? Usually they don't even bring, if they're going to kill them and scam them out of their money, usually they don't even bring them across the border. They'll just ditch them somewhere in Mexico. But it says they all fucking died of heat stroke and heat exhaustion as the trailer had no air conditioning and no water. Temperatures reached more than 100 degrees. When I worked at Lowe's Distribution Center a long time ago, my job was to fucking fill up these tractor trailers. And some of them had like these roofs. They weren't clear, but they were like plexiglass, like fucking like, I don't know. But like you could you could see daylight through them, but it wasn't clear like a window, like acrylic. And so it let daylight in. And then like what energy does is energy is one of the things. Let's get sciency on these people. Energy is the one thing that cannot be created or destroyed. It can only be converted into another form of energy. So sunlight can pass through something and convert into heat. And that's what this fucking, that's what it would do in these tractor trailers. And it would just get hotter and hotter and hotter. And one time I was loading one of these motherfuckers up with like dishwashers and, and refrigerators and things with a forklift. And I would climb on top of these refrigerators and stuff and fill that space with boxes that would come down a conveyor belt. The fucking roof was so hot, dude. When I stood up, the side of my head and the top of my ear touched it and it instantly sizzled like meat hitting a fucking skillet, dude. And my fucking ear bubbled up like they get hot. And um, definitely motherfuckers definitely will die from that shit. So it's just it's weird that they're not saying what it's from like no, they, i think we kind of already know though yeah i don't uh i don't understand I'm, i mean, I mean it could be one or two things it could be sex trafficking uh it could be a family trying to find work a deal go went wrong you know like you know there's so much behind that shit like it's like even if it's not the cartel, it's like someone's operating behind it. It's obviously a a, a job going wrong. Yeah, for sure. But, you know, maybe he did it to fuck someone over or she did it to fuck someone over. Like, yeah, yeah I got a truck full. Give me 10 grand. I'll deliver them across the border. And then. Yeah, the being money, being you know. that they're all from different places, Honduras, Guatemala, fucking Mexico, they're, 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 they're all from three different places. So I'm thinking coyotes, dude. I'm thinking that they're just smuggling people across the border and they fucking die. This shit happens all the time. Yeah. It's weird. I don't know. I don't know. I, I, uh, I don't want to be a dick, 
but it's like that's that's why we encourage people to do it the, the legal way come up here if the fucking job is better if the money's better come up here just do it the right way look what fucking happens you can't trust a coyote dude you get fucking left in the desert and die go go through all the bullshit i don't yeah. care how many fucking mexicans come up here dude come on up i don't give a fuck just do yeah. it right don't fucking jump in the back of a goddamn truck well, I mean, then it could be many, you know, stories to it. They could have been forced, to, you know. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. know. We don't know yet until the investigation. But I figured it would be a good topic to bring up just for the simple fact that it brings light to the whole border c control. It brings like, hey, you know, since this new cabinet took over uh, the Democrats, it's it's like, you know, what are y'all doing? Like you, you shun Trump for so long about this border, but it's like this is the kind of shit that that border that wall probably could have prevented, uh, you know, for like foresight saying like, Hey, if we build this, they might keep these a and B out. Now I'm not saying this wall is going to be the, the saving grace of everything because drugs can still get into, to the U S guns are still illegally bought just like sex trafficking Our our own American people do it. So, Right. It's inevitable. There's no, there's no fixing any of this. However, there's mitigating or let's make it harder for those assholes to come across. Right. I get it. So, cause the truck obviously didn't go through like a fucking checkpoint. You know what I mean? Like it weaseled yeah. its way through the, through the country somehow. It had it to probably, they were probably already over They'd have searched that shit. They'd have fucking, they'd have opened oh, that absolutely. up and, and found fucking yeah. 46 people hiding out in the back of the truck. So yeah. EA horror said she just got home from a week of jury duty. It was a murder case. Oh, that's very interesting. Yeah, that is interesting. I hate I would, jury I, duty. I would like to hear about that. Yeah, I, cool. I get out of uh, jury duty because of my mental health. <laughs> nice. I get out of it because of the army. <laughs> right. Dude. Well, the first time I went to jury duty, <clears throat> the judge was like, uh, it was for all the people that like skipped it and it was like our last fucking chance to go there. And the judge is like, yeah, jury duty is an inconvenience, but think about the soldier that's in Iraq and away from his family on Christmas. That's an inconvenience too. I'm like, I get it. But what the fuck does that have to do with jury duty? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, shut up, dick. I hate nothing that to shit. do with jury duty. <laughs> yeah, you fucking asshole. Like, I don't know. But uh, yeah, I, I asked to be excused for my mental health and the guy's like, yeah, but we're going to put you back in the pool. He's like, I just suggest bringing a pen and paper. Because I was like, I can't retain information. I'm like, I would be useless on this fucking jury, man. You don't want me. Trust me. Yeah. And he's like, well, you can bring a pen and a paper. I'm like, fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> I can just not come too, asshole. Yeah, I, I get out of it because they, they'll they they'll send me uh they'll send me things and then I have to send it back saying I'm, I'm active duty army. I'm not even in Florida. And they, they caught mm -hmm. on. They, they got the hint. I haven't had one in the last like nine years. So it's like, <laughs> but the, the minute I change residence or like, you know, if I retire here and I go and change my residence to Missouri, they're going to fucking slam me with Jerry. Dude. Right. My fucking brother-in-law is like in his fifties and he's never once been to jury duty he says every time he gets that shit he throws it in the garbage and mm. he's he's never been fucked with he's and then Damn. but see yeah and like i don't know i guess it's just like okay well i guess we didn't get a hold of the guy or he never got it but like my dumb ass i called him and i'm like hey i don't want to fucking do this shit this sucks whatever and uh it's like well now i can't fucking say oh i didn't get it because i'm like oh here i am fucking high you know but yeah, he he says he's every time he's got him in the mail, he just throws him in the garbage, and he's never once fucking had to wow. go. That's ballsy, man. Yeah, I've heard I of people know. getting bench warrants for not fucking responding or showing up. I, that's I what know. I. That's what I fucking thought. Like, who knows? He might have warrants for fucking thirty years, and he just never gets pulled over. You know. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I've have you seen uh, the Pauly Shore movie Jury Duty? Maybe a long time ago. It's like it's like his worst one, man. It's it's uh, when he was all ben, going downhill. Ben said him. he's had your duty with Polly. Yeah, on VHS maybe. <laughs> I don't want to say the V word. I was gonna say Vivo. Yeah, don't say that again. That shit sucked. I wonder if yeah. that's why they fucking muted us. 
because of that. Yo, so I saw I got a notification saying that something creator will make money off of your copyrighted uh Yeah, that's what I got. I was like, what? And I fucking challenged it and I was like, this just two dudes talking. There's no music in this fucking video. Yeah. Speak- and I hey, never speaking- heard anything from it. Hey, to interrupt you. Speaking of copyrighted, I got copyrighted for uh, on Etsy. There was a, you know, them Bilal things that I I print. Yeah, those little Bilals. So I got like some kind of notification, and uh, I was like, okay, I mean, maybe the producer movie of Basket Case came after me. I was like, whatever. So I read into it, and it was like some dude uh, that made one similar. But you know, I don't sculpt, nor do I make the STL files. Like I'm not that good. So I'll take files that people have made. I'll get permission. I'll get the rights. But yeah, because you pay for them through Patreon and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I got a I pay monthly on this one, and then I paid for this file because I went through Fiverr and I I hired a um an STL creator. I guess a digital like creator. And, uh, this was back in February and I got hit with copyright saying that this dude's sculpt looked just like this little resin figure. And I was like, what the fuck? I was like, like how, like I had a dude make this, you know, but it, it had some similarities. Like when I, when, when I was tagged in the post on Instagram, there was some similarities. Like the mouth was a little different. The, it was a little thinner, but his, the guy that's created it was like a squishy ball. Mine was mm. resin, so his was like this big. Mine was like this big. Well, if he can come after you for it looking alike, well, uh, I think the well, guy who actually made Basket Case should come after his bitch ass. <laughs> that's what know? I'm saying. Like, like what if I would have <laughs> came after him first? Like, I could have right, easily like, done that. <laughs> like, you stole something I stole, so I'm telling on you. You know. I guess his his was an original sculpt, but I'm like, at the end of the day, it's basket case you can rename it all you want but anyway yeah. i guess i was tagged on my ig uh and i and i've been working with this house dude i have not been really much on social media other than trying to get this back this podcast and like my my aunt page on ig was just blown up with all these people talking shit like oh original how original can you explain yourself only marsh productions and then i had like like so this was, dude reached out to a bunch of goons yeah, it was like to uh, come attack you about it. It had like seventeen hundred uh likes. I was like, holy shit. And like I didn't like I said, I went on there, I was like, what the fuck is this? And I was like, I just got hit with a copyright. And I was like, this I was like, this dude blasted me before he any confronted me on it. And it kind of pissed me off. So I messaged him and I was like, dude, like I hired somebody to do this. Like I took like Etsy's taking it down. I've taken it off. I was like, it kind of looks like yours, but um, can you not run my name through the dirt, please? Like this is unacceptable. Like come to me what as a, a man. Face. Yeah, I was like, fuck dude, him. just 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 come to me and I'll fucking we'll talk it out. But no, I get copyright fucking legal shit off. Etsy I don't even I see get... how that's fucking possible. Like you, it's art. You made something, then he made something of something else that somebody else fucking made. I, I, the only thing I can think of is that the guy on Fiverr uh went in through Google and Google imaged the closest thing to uh or hell he may even took pictures of this dude shit from Google. I, I don't know. And he deemed it close to his and I'm just like dude to Fuck save that. all this shit like I'll take it down but just fucking don't run my name through the dirt dude like i had nothing to do with this you know like that doesn't so make I any went, sense at all yeah dude i was fucking pissed so i went back to this fucking artist that made this file and he's like his account ain't even there anymore i was like you motherfucker fuck him yeah so i don't know dude it was it was fucking bullshit i was like i know we're getting off subject but i like to i want to tell you my my struggles <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, I don't get it. Like, I'm wearing a shirt right now that has Pluto on it, and it's got Ice Nine Kills on it, and it's like, why isn't fucking Disney coming after them, you know? I don't know, dude. It's stupid. Like It makes zero it, sense. It, it, you know what else is stupid is much like this this row and wage shit. Uh, oh. I'll go right into this fucking thing hard. Do you, uh, or do you want to save that for last? I don't care. 
I, I got my we opinion. Probably say, we should probably save that for last. Let's talk about Eric Smith for a minute, and then we'll no, go into the Roe vs. Wade thing. So my first impression of Roe vs. Wade, I remember <clears throat> falling asleep on the couch watching TV, and there was like this show called like Kids Who Kill or some shit, and it was like a countdown. And I remember waking up on the couch and seeing this weird motherfucker like – he just really fucking creeped me out. And it was this dude. And he was talking about how he's like, yeah, so when I, when I stuck the stick inside his butt, it wasn't like a sexual thing. It was just to pierce the heart. And I believe him. Like, I, I think that's he's just a stupid fucking kid. And he wanted to make sure he was dead. So he was trying to stick the stick inside his butt to pierce his heart. But I don't know. It's fucking weird. But anyway, that that's my first impression of him. And... That shit bugged me for weeks, dude. Like, just the way the kid looked. He just looked really, he looked like he would do some shit like that. Like, you ever seen a fucking picture of a pedophile? Like, this guy's arrested for fucking touching little kids, and you're like, that motherfucker did that shit, you know? Like, you could just <laughs> yeah. you could just look yeah. at him and be like, yeah, like, dude. he's Yeah, I'm hiding my kids. Fuck this. Yeah, like, fuck yeah. that guy. Um just there was something about this dude that when i saw him i'm like he looks fucking weird he looks creepy he totally looks like he would do this so the person we're talking about is eric smith he was born january 22nd 1980 he's an american murderer who at the age of 13 killed a four-year-old child named Derek roby this was in steuben county new york it happened on august 2nd 1993 so Eric Smith was convicted of second degree murder in 1994 and sentenced to the maximum term then available for juvenile murderers, a minimum of nine years to life in prison. Smith was paroled in October of 2021 after 27 years in prison. So this little fucking douchebag just got out last October. And uh, so let's get into the murder real quick. Um, appa apparently, I forgot where he's living, but uh, we can get to that later. But anyway, so <clears throat> August 2nd, 1993, when Smith was 13 years old, he was riding his bike home from summer camp in a local park after being told to leave due to bad behavior. Four-year-old Derek Roby was walking alone to the same camp. So Smith saw Roby and lured him into a nearby wooded area. There, Smith strangled him, dropped a large rock on the little boy's head, and sodomized him with a small stick. The cause of death was determined to be blunt force trauma to the head with contributing asphyxia. At around 11 a.m., Roby's mother, Doreen, went to the park to pick up her son, only to find out that he never arrived. After four hours of investigation, his body was found. The murder case made national headlines largely due to the age of the killer, who was 13, and the age of the victim, who was 4. On August 8, 1993, Smith confessed to his mother that he killed Derek. The Smith family informed law enforcement later that night. Smith was subjected to extensive medical testing from specialists on both sides. They examined brain function, hormone levels, and found nothing to explain his violent behavior. According to court documents, Smith was a loner who was often tormented by bullies for his protruding, low-set ears, thick glasses, red hair, and freckles. You fucking deserve that shit! Fuck you with your red hair and your freckles. I hope you get picked on all the time. So can we, can, so can we go, just wait a minute, gingers. whoa, 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 you gotta be easy, cause I'm, oh, I ready. forgot, <laughs> yeah. you got fucking red hair, that's funny, I do, I, it's not much, but, so let's go back, real quick, I get it, it's the fucking, what, 90s, 1990, 1994, 93, 93, 93, yeah, so that, that video of my daughter I showed you earlier, she was like three or four years old, yeah, you would, I, what parent in their right mind would allow what? their four-year-old to walk the fuck home from a camp? No, I know. I get you, it. You know what I mean, dude? Like, I get it. Times, it, but even in the early 90s, like, the free candy vans were a thing. Like, they had infomercials when we were growing up. Like, don't oh, yeah. get candy from strangers. Like, that was a fucking thing, because kids <clears throat> were getting, like, right. fucking abducted the, and shit the fucking white panel vans and shit yeah like it's like hey hey little girl uh, you know what i'm about to say right <laughs> hey little girl you want to help me find my dog his name is dick <laughs> <laughs> i've never heard that in my I've life said that to you drunk several times oh my god because i tried I'm to give I'm... you fucking uh, i was at your house and i i tried to give you a fucking a shot and i was like 
Hey, little boy. I'm glad I you blocked that, that out. God. God damn it. <laughs> We're always getting shit hammered, though, so that's why I don't remember yeah. that. Uh, but yeah, yeah like four I, I years totally old. get it. Like, dude, I don't even like, I mean, I live in a nice ass neighborhood and like, I don't, I, I'm nervous about that shit. Let yeah, them yeah. ride their bike around the block. Like it's it terrifying. Me too, me. dude. I, I lived on post and I was the same way. I'm right. Military and <clears throat> like there's so many fucking cases of missing children that are found fucking four houses down, dude. You know That's what I mean? Insane. Like this shit happens all the time or the, in the woods behind their fucking house. Like this Solid. fucking kid. He was just, yep. but yeah, man, to be four, like, I don't know how close the fucking camp was, but I imagine it wasn't right down the street. Yeah. I'm sure, it, I'm sure he even, had a ways to go. Like even right down the street. Like if, if, if my four-year-old was walking to the neighbors across the street, I'm going with her, right. him, or I'm sitting at my door watching him or her. Cause I got, yep. you know, I got Bentley and Kaylee. So like I, a four, like, wow. Yeah, I know. It's crazy. That's that's I, where that's where I think to me personally I get it Eric Smith he would have probably ended up doing it to someone else but and I'm not victim shaming but the parents should have been fucking parents like four really when I when I was like in kindergarten at 5 like I would ride my bike all over town and but I always got the shit beat out of me by older kids and it's like you know at right. least I wasn't getting fucking kidnapped or anything but <laughs> <laughs> this oh they'd have let my loud ass go they'd have kidnapped me and been like get the fuck out of yeah, here after about an hour and shut a half this motherfucker up. right you're like you want to know how much i know about the ninja turtles and i just fucking <laughs> you know, you know this one movie I'm, it's called uh scream <laughs> <laughs> fuck you <laughs> what about what about uh the blair witch it's so awesome yeah that's because that's exactly like... how i sound oh, yeah fuck i figured off. you'd sound like that fucking scumbag <laughs> <laughs> But this fucking redhead piece of shit, uh, <laughs> he fucking, I guess he, he got beat up and picked on. And from from what I remember of watching that show, he was saying that he saw that little kid and thought, like, this is my time to fucking get back, you know? And, like, he saw someone weaker than him, and he thought that he could fucking kill him and shit. But yeah, he choked him and and smashed his head, dropped a big rock on his head. That's Dude, crazy. A fucking four year old. Like I just, I can't. I don't know. I can't fucking wrap my head around it. it and he was only thirteen. Like, and he did fucking twenty seven years, man, in in prison, and he got no, out. He do, you, do you do you think they should have let him out or what? No, no, I don't. Uh, I think thirteen. I even at seven years old to me, because you have kids, I have kids. Our kids are fucking smart. Right. And again, if the parents and and that's another thing, that's another subject within itself. Like, where the fuck was his parents? But anyway, uh, like even at the age of seven, kids know better to an extent. I, I feel that way. I feel like kids yeah, my, by my the son time does seven, dumb shit every day, but he knows he's not they, supposed they to know, do it. Right. And they and, and I feel like my kids, <clears> and I'm pretty sure your kids know the difference between like killing like it's morally unethically wrong like you don't do it right so we instill that in our children like hey be nice to people until they until obviously if they if what i teach my kids you respect your you know respect people you'll get it back and then vice versa you know the whole father shit like yeah i get it don't punch him unless he punches you or some shit but I, I, going back to like the the kids thing, it's like seven years old, you know, like they know. Yeah, right but he wasn't. He was. Dad. He was right. This well, kid was. Well, that's 13. what I'm saying. I, I'm painting the picture. It's third fucking right. teen. Like this dude's probably little kids. Probably just now going through puberty, and you know, right. Uh, I I think four is a goddamn baby, dude. Dude, no. you're a baby. Yeah, like I don't care if I was let Bentley. Four years old, walk, hey son, go down to this park. My kid would be fucking 10 miles this way because he was like, dude, yeah. When my kid know. was in kindergarten, the fucking bus picked her up at the end of the street. I'd still walked her every fucking day. I didn't yeah. let her go down to the bus stop by herself. I was walking her ass every morning, dude. And I was yeah. down there to pick her up every afternoon. Fuck that shit. I, I seen where they, of course, uh, society, I guess, we, we'll call it society. 
tries to make excuses because you if you re- read further into it they just they ran all these tests and it was inconclusive he was he was not a uh it was an intermediate something or intermittent explosive it, disorder yeah, yeah. it's a mental disorder that? that causes individuals to be violent and unpredictable however the prosecution's experts said this is a rare disorder that was rarely seen at smith's age I, I don't, I, dude you know how many how often i fucking blow up and it's over the dumbest shit, like not being able to find the TV remote. I will explode over that, dude. Ask my <laughs> fucking lady. And uh, it's, I don't know, this fucking, to say that it's a rare disorder that's rarely seen at Smith's age. Like, what even is that? Intermittent explosive disorder? Like, you just get mad and fucking, I don't care. Fuck you, dude. So I'd say, like, and, redheads have tempers. It, it is known. Yeah, yeah, for sure. But... N- my Kaylee's never once tried to kill me for pissing her off. I've never tried to kill anybody for right. Well, you torment that kind of take child. that. <laughs> I kind of take that one back. <laughs> Not as a child, I didn't want to kill nobody because I was pissed. But as I got older, you know, like oh yeah, you know, like, <laughs> absolutely, it's a struggle every day to not fucking murder somebody. You know, <laughs> yeah, it's fucked up. Yeah, there's just, there's too many goddamn we're, CCTVs out. We're now. almost we're almost fucking forty, right? And it's just exactly. hard. Could you imagine yeah. being thirteen having this? Man, that'd be so hard. I'd have to kill a four year old. <sighs> you know what I mean? Like, man, it'd be so hard. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It's this, just... this little shithead. I think if I was if I was the uh, the family, I would probably go and kill this dude. The minute I knew he got out, he'd be it's dead. Fucked, right? Like, dude, I couldn't even imagine losing a fucking kid, especially that goddamn young. Like, my brother was 25 when he died, and my mom, you know, she, she was fucking devastated by it. Yeah. But a fucking four year old, like, goddamn, dude. And then, like, it it's it it tears up both families because the the killer's mom and dad they got to be devastated too because they're like, what the fuck did we do wrong to make this little asshole? go fucking smash this four-year-old kid's skull with a goddamn rock in, you know? Yeah, and then stick a stick a stick up the kid's ass. Like, really? Yeah, he said like, that he... Dahmer shit, man. He said he did that to, to make sure he was dead because he said he wanted to pierce his heart. Like, dude, I don't know if the guy should get out or not. I don't have much of an opinion on it. I want to be like, fuck him, lock him up forever. Right. Could you imagine but, being... Could you imagine being 13, being in prison... Uh, Cooper and I, twenty seven years. Yeah, Cooper and I, because Cooper stayed two weeks with me. He left, uh, I believe today. But uh, him and I were talking about it, and we're like, "Could you imagine being locked away for so many years, and then so much things in history pass, and you're oh yeah to it? You know, like like the, the internet, or uh, which I'm sure they probably had the internet in prison, but uh, yeah, but not like the in not our not like the palm of their hand, or you know." Dude, grinder and tinder and all that shit. Um. <laughs> Damien Eccles was on death row for 18 years and he was released because they found out he didn't do the shit. And when he got out, like his fucking vision was completely fucked because you're only for 18 years, you're staring at a white wall four feet in front of you. Yeah. Like you your brain story. has to. Well, yeah, that and like your brain has to train your eyes to see things that are far away and there's nothing far away to look at. You're looking at a fucking wall, dude. Well, well, he's like five, three, this, this Eric Smith is five, three. Okay. That the 27 years in prison could have stunned his growth, you know? Oh, right, 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 right. Five, three, like, dude, that's not eating. Well, Haley's taller than fucking five, three, you know, like, right. Right. So, so on August 16th in 1994, Smith was convicted of second-degree murder and sentenced to the maximum term then available for juvenile murderers. A minimum of nine years to life. While in jail, Smith read out an apology letter to Roby's family on public television. Yes, Ben, you do have a bunch of beers here, you fucking pussy, because you didn't finish them all. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, so this is the letter. I know my actions have caused a terrible loss in the Roby family, and for that, I am truly sorry. I've tried to think as much as possible about what Derek will never experience. His 16th birthday, Christmas, any time. 
owning his own house, graduating, going to college, getting married, his first child. If I could go back in time, I would switch places with Derek and endure all the pain I've caused. No, he wouldn't. Absolutely not. If it meant that he would go on living, I'd switch places, but I can't. At the end of his statement, Smith states that he cannot bear the thought of walls, razor wire, and steel metal bars for the rest of his life. He has also apologized to Derek Roby in interviews. Smith was held in a juvenile facility for three years and then was transferred to an open prison for young adults. In 2001, he was transferred to the Clinton Correctional Facility in Dannemora, New York, a maximum security prison. As of May 3rd, 2016, the NYS Department of Corrections website showed him incarcerated at Collins Correctional Facility, a medium security prison for male inmates in Erie County, New York. On April 26, 2019, he was listed as incarcerated at Gowanda Correctional Facility, a medium security prison which is located in Collins Correctional Facility. On November 30th, 2019, he was listed as incarcerated at the Woodbourne Correctional Facility in Sullivan County. So they moved his ass around quite a bit, it looks like. Uh, Smith had been denied parole 10 times since 2002, most recently in January 2020. After the failed 2012 hearing, the parole board cited a concern for public safety in its decision, and Roby's parents opposed his release. At that hearing, he told the parole board he would not return to Savona if released. He would go to a shelter or halfway house instead. In October of 2021, Smith was granted parole after 27 years of incarceration. He was scheduled to be released on November 17, 2021, but his release was delayed due to Smith not having an approved residence. Smith was ultimately released from prison on February 1st, 2022. So they were going to let his ass out, but they delayed it because he didn't have anywhere to live. Like, so I wonder if his mom and dad are dead or if they were well, like, I fuck you. Didn't he, didn't he like live with his grandparents or something? I don't know. Maybe. I don't I know. I read somewhere. I think it was like grandparents. I, I could be wrong. Okay. I just, I don't know. It's just a fucked up shitty situation because that kid was so goddamn young. It's, it, regardless, it's fucked up, but it'd be less shocking if, like, a 13-year-old and a 13-year-old hated each other. They got into a fight. One of them fucking hit the kid with a rock and killed him. But to fucking prey on a four-year-old little boy and lure him out into the woods, hey, come here, come with me. Let me you know, and the little four-year-old's like, okay. You know, like, yeah. fuck yeah, this older kid wants to fucking show me his bike or some shit. You know what I mean? No, it's stupid. He I knew exactly what he was doing. You know what I'm saying? It was his this, way this, to get back at the bullies. Yeah, for him being fucking picked on. Like, fuck you, man. Fuck that oh, little let's motherfucker. See, 90, what happened? 93, you said? Yeah. Yeah. I don't think you could have blamed Marilyn Manson on that one. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, I just, I don't know. Should have blamed Elvis. Yeah, right? Could have blamed him. Yeah. Or, or the Beatles. Uh I do say there you is know what's episode. fucked up. What your buddy Eric Smith also is from New York. Ooh, that's weird. Yeah, I wonder if it's any relation. Is he ginger? I'm gonna fuck this guy up. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's. I don't think he's ginger. Oh, I don't know. That's crazy. So oh, when you get a fuck. chance, real quick sidebar, mm. you need to watch the boys on. I've seen uh, it. Ugh. It's amazing. I'm in the middle of the season two. Yeah, me too. Cooper turned me on to that shit. He's like, gotta watch this shit. It's fucking it shows, awesome. It shows dick and tits, but you gotta overlook that. <laughs> I was like, all right. <laughs> I'm sold. I mean, <laughs> that's funny that he's like, you gotta yeah. overlook the tits. Like, the, that's fucking hilarious. <laughs> fucking Cooper. Yeah. So, I, uh, something else I was gonna fucking tell you. Fuck. It was right there. It was good too. So you you don't think this guy should get let out, huh? No, I think I think he should have stayed in. Uh I don't think he should have been let out because 13, I feel like you are of right mind. And given the circumstances of it, the four year old, you lured it, lured him into the woods, you poked a stick up this little kid's ass to make sure he was dead. Like, what the fuck? I wonder how he got treated in prison. That's what I want. I wonder if he was uh, locked up, like, by himself so he wouldn't get fucked with. Know. 
or I wonder if he got the shit beat out of him and raped every day. Dude, oh. uh, homeboy got arrested today. Nice. My brother, my brother-in-law, that fucking piece of shit. They arrested him today. So, uh, nice. yeah, fuck him. Recently found out that uh, brother-in-law is a fucking pedophile, and I called the cops on him. He didn't touch my kids. I just let's be clear on that. But yeah, so that fucking piece of shit got arrested today. I, I want to bring up something else, uh, true crime recently that happened, and then we'll I'll let you fucking rant and rave on Roe versus Wade. <laughs> um, thank you, thank you for. <laughs> <laughs> so there uh there's a certain audience member that knows exactly what i'm talking about i'm not going to name drop if they are okay with it then they can be like yeah it's me but anyway so uh <laughs> i'm trying to think of how to say this i know someone who caught someone jerking off in public <laughs> like they were at work and they were leaving work and there was a person outside of their work jerking off <laughs> and like the dude's like what like I'm at fucking, what? <laughs> like, I'm, like he doesn't understand what he's doing is wrong and apparently this scumbag was just arrested the other day too so well i don't know i could say this doing military police work i've caught people a male soldier in uniform jacking off in his car at a park in broad daylight that's so weird isn't it during like, lunch, go, <laughs> <laughs> like go, you're on lunch break. Go to McDonald's, you know. Go in the bathroom, rub one out real quick, and then go get your Big Mac. You know what I mean? Like, why in the make park? sure you wash your hands, <laughs> dude? I've never been that. Yeah, I was gonna say that. Uh, I've never been that horny to where I just bust it out in public and start fucking <laughs> slamming on it, dude. Like. <laughs> What the fuck is wrong with these people, dude? Like, I'm an animal, man, but god damn. Come on, dude. Right? Like, you need help. Like, if you're doing yeah. that in public in broad daylight during lunch, <laughs> so you need uh, fucking help, dude. So it was it's our it's our producer, Ben, who this happened to. The guy was watching Ben and he was jerk dog, no, just kidding. <laughs> but his his wife, dude, was working at the bar. They own a bar, and his wife was working, and apparently this dude was standing outside of the bar watching her for two hours. And she got off. She closed the bar, left, and walked outside, and this dude is fucking jerking off, standing under the exhaust hood, jerking off. Like the exhaust wow. of the of the building, I'm guessing. Yeah. And he got arrested for it, and he like he doesn't understand what he did was wrong. And like they didn't know she he was watching her for two hours. Like he admitted to this shit. He's like, I was watching her. I was like, what's the big fucking deal? You know, it's like, dude, that's like clearly there's some mental fucking health issues if you don't understand that what you did is fucked up. And yeah. dude, like, thank God he was only jerking off. Like, what if? And thank God she caught him because like. What if this escalated, dude? What if he starts watching her every night and jerking off and then eventually he becomes Makes obsessed? Yeah, and tries to fucking yeah. abduct her or rape well, that her right or there, fucking hurt her. That right know? there is a sign of some sort of like psychopathic like trait. Yeah, absolutely. Like no right person sits and does that in public. Or, no, fuck no. You know, uh, here, here's my thing is... Uh, Pee Wee Herman paved the way for all this. <laughs> At least Pee Wee was in a pornographic movie theater. So fuck, like be a Pee Wee Herman. Don't be out in, outside of bars doing it. You know. Yeah, wasn't there? Was it George Michael, the singer? He got arrested for showing his dick to a cop in a in a bathroom in a bathroom stall. Yeah, yeah. Like that. He um, he said like the guy approached him, kind of like a show me yours, I'll show you mine type thing. That's weird. That's super fucking weird. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, people were fucking, fucking weird. <laughs> I don't yeah. get it. I'm just, I'm, I'm glad he got caught, man. Cause yeah. who knows what that could have fucking escalated to, dude? Cause they're like, I don't know, like serial killers do that shit. You know, they'll watch a woman and and rub one out. You know, I don't know. If, if uh, Ben says if this turns into an everyday thing, he is gonna have to pay me. <laughs> like, <laughs> Absolutely. You know, 
You're going to masturbate to my wife, like, you son of a bitch. You're going to come to my bar, jerk off to my old lady. You don't even come in by like, bear. It's like, a, <laughs> it's like a OnlyFans live. <laughs> yeah, right. Like, God damn, dude. It is nuts. Yeah, at least have the decency to come in and fucking order a sandwich and get a beer if you're going to jerk off to my wife, you piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, my cousin's a badass. She would probably fuck that dude up, though. Like, she's a fucking bad motherfucker. She'd have whooped that dude's ass. It's weird. But yeah, I'm just, I'm glad that it that it ended the way it did and it didn't escalate because you hear about shit like that all the time. Women getting abducted, coming out of work. And then you find out the whole time the guy was like obsessing over her and shit, you know, like it's just fucking crazy. Right. She end up in like a hole with a basket of lotion. And a water yeah. hose. Yes, no shit. Put the lotion on the skin. Yeah. Yeah, it's weird, dude. So uh, oh. we got to, yeah. Something else really fucked up happened to one of Ben's friends, but we'll get into that on a different episode. When Maybe when he comes on, I'll let him talk about it. We, uh, Me and him went to a show. We went and saw Adam Calhoun and all his buddies and shit. It was a really cool show. This fucking dude, like, fucking stuck his middle finger in my face. Because uh, there was like this guardrail and there was plenty of fucking room, man. And I just, I walked along this guardrail and I got up really close to like third row to the stage, right? Just because they were playing uh, Pantera. And I'm like, cool, I want to watch these guys play Pantera. So I walk up, there's this dude and this girl like clearly standing in the way. So I stopped behind them. I couldn't go any further. I'm not the kind of person to push people and move people. I saw a path. I walked this path got to a certain point to where I couldn't go any further. So I stopped the dude in front of me, turned around, put his middle finger in my face and I nodded to him and, you know, flipped him off too, thinking like a fuck yeah, dude, like we're at a show. You know what I mean? That's what I thought he was doing. And he's like, I'm just letting you know, that's as far as you're going to get. That's my wife right there. And I'm like, I'm cool where I'm at. And nobody's touching your fucking wife, dude. I'm just standing here. Like, is this your first concert? You know what I mean? Like, what the fuck? The dude was huge. He would have broke me in half. But like, Yeah, but it doesn't matter, dude. Like, I don't understand what he was being such a fucking piece of shit for. Like, I didn't even touch him or his wife. I just, I had a... And like, dude, for like three days, I'm going in my head. I'm like, did I do something douchey? Like, what the fuck? Did, you know, I'm, I'm you, like, you know what you should have did? It, you know? You should have pulled your <laughs> dick out and started jacking off in front of him. <laughs> <laughs> I'd have done it, dude. I don't know what this guy's fucking problem was. I, I just, if he was like just trying to be a tough guy, and like you know, like because his wife looked at him and he looked at her like, like what is he? Is he a fucking badass now? Because he fucking told me that I wasn't going any further. Like I would have went right on past him just for principle, dude. I thought about that. Like I should have just like scooted his wife, but I'm like I'm not gonna get kicked out of here. Because yeah. this fucking dude, you know what I mean? Like, no, I and I, I was, dude, like I paid $50 for a balcony seat. I didn't want to be in the fucking crowd, but me, my homeboy Chase and Ben were outside smoking a cigarette. I hear Pantera come on. I'm like, fuck yeah. So I walked in, walked up to the stage, waited till they were done playing Pantera. I turn around and walk back the same fucking way I came in. But in the middle of all that, that dude did that shit. And I'm just like, what the fuck was this guy? Like, man, fuck that asshole. Yeah. I don't know. You should have pulled uh, it out. So I guess the fucking dude that got caught jerking off told his uh, probation officer that he thought it would impress her. That he was rubbing one out to her. So that's fucking strange, man. That's weird. Yeah. I've never done that in my life. <laughs> like, I mean, I've, I think I've done the helicopter a few times in front of Brittany, but I've never. Oh, um... yeah. Like, fucking, you know, I do that shit. Look at this. this. Right. It's really quack, impressive. Quack, 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 quack. You know what I mean? Like, it's the only thing. Like, I'm the only one laughing and smiling. She's over there like, what's wrong with you? Right. I was like, just look. It's breaking the wind. Right. <laughs> Dick going one way. Balls going the other. <laughs> no, I just, I yeah, I don't know, man. I've never jerked off in public. It's fucking goofy. Yeah, I just want to go on record like that's that's going to go on a t-shirt too. Yeah. Don't blame us as never masturbated in public. <laughs> what uh, the fuck is wrong with these people? So weird. you want to fucking you want to get into it, man? Uh, 
I'll touch so, a little bit on it. I mean, what I, I want what I want to say before we get into that is like clearly Audie and I have changed up our format a little bit. Like we're still in the first year of doing this podcast. We don't know what the fuck we're doing. We started out with topics and things like that. And then like uh, we've slowly gone. This is our second week in a row, completely freestyling. I kind of like the idea of talking about things that's going on in recent news. And then we give our opinion on it, try to be funny about it. But him and I came to a conclusion last night that like we need we're going to stick to our guns. We're going to stick to our motto. And that's like we're casually causing chaos through conversation and we're here to entertain you, not hurt your feelings. And we've been told by listeners like, man, you guys really hold back on some shit when you guys talk because there's people who have had conversations with us and heard us talk and give our real opinions. (laughs) And they're like, you guys really hold back. And we did, and we're not going to do that anymore. We're going to, going forward, we're going to just start telling it how it is and how we like it. Because we've always said, I'd rather have four fucking people watch us that really, really like the shit than 100,000 fucking phonies. And now we got to watch what we have to say because we don't want to piss off these people. So going forward, that's what we're going to do. And him and I aren't going to agree on a lot of shit. But we're not going to fucking be little bitches and fight about it. So don't be little bitches and get upset about it. So, all right, let's go. Roe versus Wade. If you are, I'm just going to send you a video of me jacking off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to yeah, do dude. it, too. You're going to get a fucking video of me just like. Yeah, no Patreon <laughs> needed for that, motherfucker. Nah, for free. Yeah. So, <laughs> so I'm not going to dive deep into the whole case of it, like. The row and the Wade. We we get it. You can Google that shit. It's been brought up numerous times with the whole uh, legal. Break abortion. it down for me, honestly, because I don't know much about it. So, so this was a real case that happened, right? Oh, dude, it's been going on for fucking years, way before us. Uh, it, okay. it was deemed like the Constitution. It has to do with Constitution, politics. I think even religion play a factor in some of it. In the comments, you can correct me if I'm wrong. But it's it was one of those things where it was like, uh, like you could. How can I break this down so I don't like go <clears throat> deep into it? I thought it was a person versus a person. Like a chick was pregnant, she wanted so, to so the abort row, the baby. The dad didn't want her to, or what the fuck? I mean, yeah, she had like three kids. I mean, I can okay. read it verbatim for the fucking Google, but uh, her name wasn't even Roe. It was some other name. I don't know. You know, I don't know okay. the, the legal issues behind that, but. It was more or less women having the right um, to abort a child. Okay. So knee deep into it, you know, like I said, I don't want to go down that rabbit hole with it, but I just want to, I want to give you my opinion. So 1973 was a landmark decision of the U S Supreme court in which the court ruled that the constitution of the United States generally protects the Liberty to choose to have an abortion. That's Roe versus Wade 1973. Okay. Yeah. So it goes all the way back. And, and they bring the constitutional right into it. They bring the Privacy Act. They bring all this other shit into it. Okay. My opinion on it, and it has changed. It's changed a little bit uh, because I don't want to seem like I'm one of those dudes that's like, you know, like your body, your choice type thing. I, I Like, I don't care. Like, if you want to go get an abortion, then that's on you. You're the one going to live with that shit, not me. I'm not going to sit here and tell you what you need to do with your body because it ain't my fucking body. You don't tell me what I need to do other than these last two years you've been telling me to wear a fucking mask. Weird. Isn't that fucking weird? Um, I've seen that argument before where people are like something to the effect of like, oh, fucking this my body, my choice shit. Like, well, where was that when you were trying to make me get a right. vaccine you know like it's i've the seen same, that argument it's the same liberal fuckheads that are uh, uh, uh you, you're protecting me when you wear a mask but that's besides the point <laughs> <laughs> you're not vaccinated we should deport you and it's like uh i'm not gonna sit here and say uh as a white male that you need you don't need to have an abortion like i get it it's your body it's your choice my argument behind the whole thing is equality. So if a female has an abortion, she can legally do it and no questions asked. Nine times out of 10, the woman has one for a form of birth control. That's 
And that's where I have to disagree. I don't think it should be used as a form of birth control. I think it should be used as a stipulation or a situation that you've been dealt with. But like if the baby's not going to live or if it's going to fucking if there's if yeah, if there's life be born with the involved. organs on the outside of its body, right. like it, it can still mom, live, but it's going to be fucked up. Right. Like mom will be fucking uh, paralyzed or she'll be dead right. or she wouldn't or be able she to take raped care of her child. Um uh, I got into an argument about that whole rape shit on a different thing, but I'll tell you that too. But I saw is, on the cover, I think it was a cover of a Rolling Stone magazine. Justin Bieber uh, was asked, he was a kid dude. And he was asked about abortion. And he said something about like, something to the effect of like, everything happens for a reason. So like if a woman's raped or whatever, <laughs> and then oh my it God, said, dude. yeah, like he was a kid, you know, but he's like, well, every, everything happens for a reason, you know? And so like, like what's your opinion on if a woman gets raped and then she has to, she has the baby because she can't get an abortion. And then Justin Bieber was like, well, I, I believe everything happens for a reason or whatever. And it said, Rape happens for a reason, Justin Bieber. I was like, oh, like that. <laughs> that was, they did that poor kid. Grimy. That's awesome. Don't ask a child shit like that. Just like the guy from the show Duck Dynasty. Don't ask him about what he thinks about two men getting married. What the fuck did you think that guy was going to say? Right. You know what I mean? Like oh, I the guy it. grew up in the fucking old swamps. School. Yeah, and he's like all about Old Testament, and it's like, what yeah. the fuck did you? They set his ass up, dude. Oh, absolutely, because <laughs> when you're on top, there's only one way to go, baby, and that's down. Just like that cook, they were like, "Have you ever said the N word?" That bitch should have said no. Lie, no, I've never said the N word. You know what I mean? Like oh, when she's talking like, oh. about Martha Stewart. No, 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 some other like country. Oh no, you're talking about Paul? Is it Paula Dean? I think so. Like she yeah. was on top of the world. You know what I mean? Yeah. And someone asked her, they fucking baited that bitch. Have you ever said the N-word? And she she, she answered wrongly. She was like, she said, <laughs> I might have said it a couple times. Or I was like, no, I've never said that shit. Why would you ask me that? How dare you? Oh, my God. Fucking idiot. Anyway. <laughs> but what I was saying was, is like, a woman can legally do that, not want a child. Okay, cool. Whatever. You want to do that? You want to use it as a form of birth control? That's fine. Right. But if I was to knock a female up. And not want the kid and walk the fuck away. I get summoned to court. I have to pay child support. My driver's license is on the line. It's like, I didn't want the fucking kid. I can't just go and kill it. Then put a condom on, dummy. Well, yeah, we. <laughs> I could sit here and say that too. Like, yeah, I can pull out or I could put a condom on. It's like right. it, the principle behind the whole abortion That shit thing doesn't always is, work. No, though, it is, you know. is females. And, and where I get pissy about it is women and females or whatever having that option to do it as a form of birth control. I think there should be some vetting. I think there should be just, just for the, the, the sole purpose of life in general. Like if we can sit here and say there's fucking parasites on Mars and it's a form of life, but you tell these females a clump of cells is not life, then you can go fuck yourself. I get what you're saying. You know I've, what I've mean? heard that like, argument before too. Let's, yeah. Like, okay, let's, let's, let's be real here. Like, we're not going to use a birth control clinic as a form of birth control. That's that's my argument. Like, let's let's be real. Like, oh shit. Well, look, look, Darren. I got to go down to the clinic. You didn't pull out in time. Like, I personally know. I personally know girls who have uh, gone off birth control to try to trap a motherfucker. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because like the dude's like, oh, she's on birth control and just skeeting all the time. And then she'd stop taking it and not telling them to fucking try to, to try to trap a motherfucker. You know what I mean? No, I get it. I, I've got buddies but, that was with their girlfriends, almost married. She gets pregnant because she's in a, a, a point of her life and her career. It will damper what she's trying to do. Uh, she gets an abortion and, and the and my buddy was like almost killed himself. He's like, really? I wanted this fucking kid. And right. I had no say so in this. She went and got an abortion. She, he he left her, but because it, it was going to damper her college, it's going to damper her career path. And it was like I think the whole your body, your choice is at the time that you agree to have sex. Like, all right, you and I are going to have sex. Let's keep in mind that anything that happens after this, A, B, and C, it's going to be something we have to deal with. 
that's where the choice and it brings the man in and it's like we're gonna agree to something like we're having consensual sex this could happen what right. do you want to do what happens let's talk I get it. You in the heat of the moment, you're not going to sit down and have a fucking resume in front of you. <laughs> have oh, you ever okay. seen the Dave Chappelle skit where he makes her sign a contract before he fucks <laughs> yeah. her? <laughs> He's like, "Check here for anal, check here for oral." Oh, yeah. I'm gonna do you too. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's fucked up. But but that's my outlook on it, and and I hope I, I can get across and prove some logical points on it. It's like equality is one thing. Like it's your body, your choice. I give a fuck if you want to make the decision. And have an abortion and use it as a form of birth control, then that's on you. You have to live with that shit. But don't sit here and tell me that we should all males should get their testicles cut at birth or or you know, uh I've seen some wild shit. I, I just know. like really I've seen some really wild arguments, and it's usually from like liberals, dude, who's just doing these wild and you know things. what's it's crazy? Like, Calm it's, down. It's their own people with this row shit. Like Right. It's your own kind, dude. But like, here's the thing is like they didn't No, it's just up to the state. But and yeah. doesn't that basically mean it's up to the people because they're gonna right. vote for it? And that's it, the right? thing people can't grab their heads around. It's giving right. you more of a choice to vote because you go against the fucking government, it ain't no fucking say so, man. All right. Well, look what happened last time. Like nobody voted because they're like Trump's not gonna win. Then he won, then they're like, fuck, and they hated him. Yeah. For whatever reason. And then they all went out and voted. And then like, now look at us. You know, <laughs> It's like, we got this piece of shit in, but it just, it makes me wonder, like, I don't know, like, man, I want some, this is a whole different topic, but like, sometimes I wonder if that shit was rigged, like the way they, the way fucking. No, Ben says some it's people... true. I, I believe what, what Ben just comments, it's going to screen on the screen here. It is a big deal, don't get me wrong, but the timing of it is to distract everybody from everything else going on in Ukraine. I think so too. Oh, they absolutely. do that all the time. The it's, government it's, knows what it's doing. And and you can you can correct me if I'm wrong on this or have your own little opinion about it. Uh school shootings. It seems like every time something to distract us, it's like school shooting, fuck the fuck the NRA. We need to put a ban on guns. See, this is why we got to ban guns. But for years, we won't go without a school shooting. Not a fucking word is said. It's always when there's elections up, dude. No, I, I know. Midterms and, and yeah, and shit all like that. Shit. that that's it. when all this shit happens every fucking time. But like, I think this shit happens every fucking day. There's school shootings and people getting killed every fucking day. But like, it's only on national news and shoved down our fucking throats when it's important. Like either when they want to make us fight, argue, divide us or when they're trying to distract us. That's yeah. what I think. But one thing too, I was thinking of is like a lot of, a lot of the, the women, I get it, dude, why they're fucking pissed. Um, but some of them, it's like, okay, well, <laughs> if you're mad, I get it. Like, so just don't, so if you get pregnant, don't get an abortion. You're against abortions, right? right? Cool. Be against abortion. So that means when you get pregnant, don't get one, have the baby. But don't be mad at this lady for going and getting one because that's not it. How does this affect you? She's not going to, you know what I mean? She's not killing no, your it. kid. And then like the, the chick that is having the baby isn't trying to fucking make you take care of it and make it live with you. No, It's like, just fuck off. Let everybody just fucking do their own thing. No, you know, absolutely. Like, all all I want to do. I, I just want to grow legal weed and protect my gay neighbors with my guns. <laughs> You know what I mean? No, I, I get I get it. I get what you're no, saying. One hundred percent. Like, you know, like <laughs> it's your it's your buddy, your choice. Like I, okay, right. fuck it. I don't care. But don't don't fucking sit here and say all men need their fucking dicks cut and dude, like all there's been a shit. lot of just fucking like, man bashing lately. Like I've that, seen some right? girls going on Facebook like like y'all sound like some man haters. Like some I didn't do this psychos, to you, bro. Yeah, like I and like they're not lesbians or anything. They're just mad. And I get it when people are mad, they say some fucked up shit. But like there are some some women out there that I thought I knew, and I'm like, damn, you're saying some fucked up. Like it's just man bashing. Oh, men should have this done and do this and all these pieces of shit that don't pay child support. And I'm like, dude, like. You're just putting all dick and balls in a box right now and shaking it up. Shaking them up. <laughs> you know, it's like, like, like that dude with the steak. Why are you mad at me? I didn't do this. Yeah. Relax. Calm the fuck down. Like, yeah, I don't know, man. 
I, I don't know. I think uh, I think in today's society, it just it takes that one little thing. It gets everybody stirred up because my mom always said, five years from now, none of this is going to matter. Oh, right. It won't. It's not until the next motherfucker brings it up. Yeah, five years right. from now. Yeah, it, it it's and I live by that shit, dude. Like it's true. My mom was it. It's fucking legit. Like five years from now, son, none of this is gonna fucking matter. Right. I don't care. Like it's your body, your choice. I don't give a fuck. Is a, is killing a baby wrong? Absolutely, because some of these fucking states will allow to kill babies like in like second mid trimester, dude. Like there's fucking human hands. You know what yeah, I mean? I, I've seen pictures of like, like what the fuck? That's where I'm like them getting sucked you're out. A, like what? you're an evil motherfucker. I've seen people standing on corners corners with pictures of like fetus heads, you know what I mean? And I'm like, don't for don't do that shit. Cause now when I got my kid in the back seat and we're stopped at a fucking red light and your stupid ass is holding up a sign of this mutilated baby and my kid asks, what the fuck is that? I got to explain some shit. Yeah. Don't be that jerk off and stand right. on the fucking corner well, with a fucking well, dude, dude, picture. That, that brings me to another fuck subject. That. Fuck that, those people. <laughs> look, this brings me to another fucking thing that pisses me off with society. All right. I am not homophobic. I have gay friends, cousins, family, you name it. One of, I have a gay friend. Boyfriend. Super close. But... Your gay pride parades, 100%. If you want to do that, I don't give a fuck. But what I don't like is these gay pride parades with fucking people, grown men with assless chaps with their dicks hanging out, <laughs> and there's fucking kids around. Like, it's where's weird. the fucking can, pedophile charge on this? Because I, can I wouldn't want to walk down the fucking street <laughs> and some fucking dude with a dildo dick on his fucking head and assless chaps dancing around telling me I need to be not homophobic because I'm... Sh- putting my fucking hand over my kid's face no motherfucker i don't want him exposed to that shit he's fucking eight you know yeah I mean? they can they can get weird i've seen shit like that where uh yeah i know and then like the the drag queens like reading to children it's like we get it you like to dress like a girl and that's fine i don't care but like why do you feel the need to read to children while you do it like just <laughs> you know like just wear your dress man just like, go to the grocery store in your dress. I don't fucking care. Yeah, just, but you got to line up kids now and read them fucking Dr. Seuss while you're doing it. Fuck yeah. you. You know? It's weird, dude. Like like some of the shit the society's trying to push. And I understand it. Kids kids need to be aware of it. But they need to be aware of it when they're of age and they understand. I've 100% yeah. told both my kids about gay couples and transgenders and cross dressers. They know all about that shit. So that way, when they see it in the store, they're not like fucking Ooh, shocked. Look, dude, look at this rude. girl. It's or a dude. rude. Right. Yeah. yeah like you if don't they want see a fucking rude. guy with a beard and eyeliner on, they're not going to be fucking rude. Right. And hurt no. somebody's feelings. And totally. that's, that's the parent. Because that could be that last straw that makes that person go home and fucking commit suicide. Kill him, you or, know what or I mean? Or fucking shoot up the store because hurt your someone kid else. Right. Yeah, dude. <laughs> right. like, and I don't mean to it. sound that drastic, but dude, this shit happens. You no, know? dude. I'm very passionate like, about these fucking subjects because the simple right. fact that I don't like, don't push shit on my kids. Let me fucking do it. And don't fucking hate me because I have a different opinion on it. Right. Like, like you know, I, I, I have the right to be different, too, just as much as you do. Right. And let's work together. Like, oh, you're you're trans. That's cool. I'm with it. Don't push it on me. Don't don't. Right. You know, 100 percent. It's cool. I don't care. And and don't push it on my kids. Are you but, mad about the Buzz Lightyear same sex kiss? Or I haven't even seen it. I know me either. But like I give zero fucks about like I don't, I don't fucking care but my dude my friend is furious <laughs> he's fucking <laughs> he fucking made a Facebook post about the new Buzz Lightyear movie having two girls kissing it and people ripped his ass apart I'm like man you did not expect that post to go this way I bet but he don't care he stood flat footed and, and made his arguments and, yeah but like, I don't fucking give a fuck because I explain that shit to my kids, you know, just like I explain fucking don't let people touch you. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, because if anyone were to fucking touch him, they'd be like, motherfucker, don't do that. My dad will shoot your ass. You know, like, <laughs> you, I know about the bad touch, bitch. Like my kids knew about those things. Right. It's just for us to educate them on our level. I don't need society to do it. 
Right. It's if up there's to gay you. kissing in movies, then my so kid's my watch. choice. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking teach him. That's what a t-shirt. I want. Yeah. Don't dude. blame us. My kid's yeah. my choice. My kid's my choice. My I'll dick, teach my him what I want over. when I want when I think it's okay. No, don't I... don't put it in their fucking movies and shit. I get it. They want to normalize it. I get it, but I don't know. Like, do you really have to put it in a fucking Disney cartoon? I don't know. Whatever. I don't. Know. It don't I make don't know me either. mad. Because if, if we saw it, my kids probably wouldn't even have batted an eye at you ever, it. Dude. You ever seen the new Rocco's Modern Life? <sighs> yeah. That I yeah. <laughs> I turned it off. I didn't finish it. <laughs> I turned it off. How dare dude. you? Dude, it's that shit that that upset me. That pissed me off. Did I tell you about the time my son brought a fucking book home in kindergarten about a fucking transgender teddy bear? Yeah. Did I fucking tell you that. this shit? It yeah. fucking like I asked him, I'm like, who picked out this book? He's like, I did. I'm like, why? And he's like, there's a fucking teddy bear on it, you know? <laughs> like, <laughs> fucking, this book's the shit. Read it to me. I'm like, I read it to him, you know? And I and I explained what this fucking bear thought. Right. And it's like, that's, but dude, I don't think there's a kindergartner in the world that is confused about being a boy or a girl. I don't think that shit comes till later, dude, because they're not even like attracted to the opposite sex or same sex right. at that point. So why would they be confused on what kind of sex they are? Right. Maybe I'm wrong. Like I would love to talk to a transgender person and be like, when did you start feeling this way? Cause like, I want to know, I'd love to be educated on it. No, I don't want to be ignorant and naive. No, I, I don't want to sound dude. like an asshole. But, but when you're ignorant, it's, it's like, just weird you when you put know. it in a book, I think. And, and, and I, think, it, I think dude. that's what we should do, man. We should bring, a transgender on and, and let them educate us just for the simple fact that you and I, I, I know transgender and all the bi the binary stuff. I get it, but I can read it. I can have a friend tell me, but I want to know, I want to know what their mind, where they're at. Right. You know what I mean? Like I, I accept it. I accept transgender. I accept it all. I don't care if you want to do that. Who does it say? Who the fuck am I to say you shouldn't do that? No, I don't fucking care. Am I going to have an opinion on some of the outlooks on 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 certain things? Yeah, because adjectives and pronouns and that kind of stuff. You know, like your your adjective is your fucking beautiful what beautiful genius. I'm a sexy genius. Yeah, yeah, and <laughs> and and I don't hate you for that, but it's like I hate I hate being deemed homophobic. I hate being right. unacceptable when I I don't wrap my head around certain things to where I I've never I've never said that like it's new to me and right and to persuade me to think how you think that's not how this works do I accept it yes do I want to think the way you think no because I'm gonna I'm gonna have different fucking opinions you know right like I'm just it's just I was raised this way. I, you know, it's it's the way I'm wired. But do I want to learn? Absolutely, fucking lutely. Yeah, I, I don't, don't want to wanna be that naive asshole. You know, I don't. Am I going to Google person. it and learn? No, I'm not. Right. It'd be because <laughs> Google be will tell me. To yeah, I could read Google it. and be like, I'll be. Re I could read Google and be like, fuck, I'm homophobic. Right. <laughs> you exactly. Know I mean? Thanks, it's Google. Like, it's like you checking know? your symptoms on fuck on the fucking internet. WebMD. Yeah, I got like, cancer. Like oh, I got a sore a throat. My belly hurts, and you're like, "Fuck, I have AIDS." Like, <laughs> <laughs> like it bleeds. I bleed when I shit. Fuck. Right. I got AIDS. <laughs> so let's. I want to ask you something about what do you? How do you feel about transgenders joining the military? I know you're to, you're fine with gays in the military, right? Yeah, absolutely. Right, like I, I that, feel that, with, with the now. Do they still do the don't ask, don't tell, no. or can you can you be blatantly gay in the army? You yeah. can be gay, right? It's open. Miles, Which I was, don't have right? a problem with that, huh? Miles was gay, right? Yes. Right. So yeah. I figured that it was like a they they dropped the whole don't ask, don't tell thing. Yeah, that's I, some early '90s shit. That's what I, I thought. Did Clinton do that? Bill Clinton did that. Um, I think so. Um, so how do you feel about transgenders joining the military? I, I don't care. I, th I think, I think if they can sit there and cover my ass in a firefight or save me when I'm fucking dying and no questions asked, I can do the same for them. Right. Absolutely. I get that. The only At the thing end that... of the fucking day, they're a human fucking being. 
Right. The only argument I've heard from someone else who's ex-military is said that it's supposed to be a well-oiled killing machine and that what pisses him off is that people join the army to get their transgender surgery done for free, like paid no, for. Yeah. And then the recovery, like the turnaround time is like two years or more. Yeah. So it's like they'll sign up for the army, get the surgery, not do shit for however many years. Can't deploy. I, I get it. Yeah. yeah, yeah you know, like they do it to valid. get their surgery for free. So like it's that, valid. fuck those people. But I, I get it. And I if see you're it, already but... a boy who thinks you're a girl and you're in the army. Fuck. Yeah. Come on over. You know, <laughs> like, no, but... I, I get I get what you're saying. And I've accepted the fact that uh, I don't have an issue with it because some people join the army for the wrong things and like college. I want to join right. for college, but then at the same time, you're obligated to what the army wants you to do. And they're like, fuck, this ain't what I signed up for. This ain't what right. I expected. Uh, I think the same thing goes for those who want to join to get the the testosterone and the hormone shit. Like, hey, you know, you you want to join for the army to pay for that. Like you, you're you going to be obligated for other things and you're going to fucking hate life just as just as much as I do. You know, like you're right. not, you're not going to be treated any different because the army is persuaded and, and trying to teach people to be open minded with certain things and accept them. Because at the end of the day, we all wear the same fucking color. Uh, we will cover each other in a firefight. You know what I mean? Um, it, I don't have an issue with it. I don't I don't fucking care as long as you can fucking kill the motherfucker that's trying to kill me. And I'll right. do the same for you. I don't, care. I don't fucking care. How do you feel about being in the army under a president that you fucking hate? <laughs> like, I've always wa- I've always wondered that. Like, let's say, like, I don't know, were you a Bush fan or no? Bush and Cheney and shit? Yeah, I, I liked Bush. You did? Okay. Yeah. So, like, let's just, like, I don't know. It, it's hard to pretend, I suppose. But, like, let's say you're fucking 18, or I'm not 18. You're old enough to know now. We'll just say now, 20s, whatever. And you're fucking overseas fighting a fucking war you don't agree with, or you fucking hate the fucking president. Like, how do you fucking deal with that shit? So the way I deal with it is, is uh, my actions that I do and the things that I'm told to do, uh, I don't see that directly coming from him in general. So there's chains of chain of commands and stuff, and we follow it. Uh, the only thing that I have that's upsetting to me is budget, is money, is schools. Sending my soldier to a school, uh, and I can't because the army doesn't have the money to do it. That's a thing, bro. Newsflash. That's a thing in the army. Well, elaborate. What do you mean? Because you said sending so you, my soldier. So if you, were my, yeah. if you were my soldier and you wanted to go to airborne school. Oh, I, okay. I would have to. I would have to go through... Do the paperwork uh, and make sure that the unit would have enough money to send you or even the army pay for it. And during Obama's air, uh, promotion points were so fucking high. No one was getting promoted. The army had no money. No one was going to schools. No one was progressing like they should because it was under a Democratic president. There, I said it. Trump took over and it was like, holy fuck, we, get, we got this money. Like... The economy was ru- like, you know, booming. And when the economy booms, the army fucking booms. It's just, it's the trifecta. It's the fucking, it's the butterfly effect. If right. economy's doing good, uh, our numbers are flowing. We're getting new soldiers in. As of right now, dude, our, re- our retention is so low in the fucking army. You don't even have to have a high school diploma or GED to join. Damn. And you can ship this year. If you're able to ship this year, they'll accept. Is nobody it. signing up? Nobody is signing up, bro. Are they taking like felons and shit or what? Uh, sign on bonuses is like $50,000. Have they gone as far as, as uh, bringing in felons and shit or no? I don't know, man. Probably. It's going to come to that. I hope yeah, they bring like you the got, fucking draft back. <laughs> you got face tattoos? Come on over. Oh, dude, you can. You can have face tattoos? Yeah, you can now. have hand tattoos now. It has to, It can't be no bigger than an inch. Oh, wow. Yeah, dude. Probably not gang related tattoos and shit. I'm assuming. I don't right? know. You probably still could come in and be like, yeah, be that's my family, right? crest. <laughs> yeah, it's family crest. That's my family crest. <laughs> you know, I don't know, man. I like crazy, dude. Working being, uh, Cooper said, I got bullied. I got bullied for red hair and freckles. 
I just missed that when we were talking about redheads being bullied. So well, how many four year olds is he lured into the woods? I'm <laughs> assuming none. So <laughs> right. Fucking. Uh, but that's my outlook on it. I don't. I don't care. It's. It's the army's better with a Republican president. It. The numbers show. Like it's facts. Uh, I never understood what I was until. You asked me, I'm like, well, how do I even know if I'm a Democrat or Republican? And you asked me like four questions and then I answered them. And then you were like, you're a Republican. I'm like, oh, cool. <laughs> like, it's nice <laughs> to belong somewhere. <laughs> like, but, now I fucking get it, you know? Like, like the, I, I swing to the, to the right a lot because a lot of the things, the politicians make sense, but you made a good point. The last podcast we did, you said, um, the left and right are both attached to the same fucking bird. Yeah, it's two wings you know, on the same bird, uh, right, right. Yeah, and it's like... They're flying the same uh, fucking thing. Same fucking path. One's going... Yeah. Uh, the, the Even Republicans can be fucking shitty, too. Like, there's no... It, both sides are fucking idiots. What's weird but I is tend to lean to the, to the right a little bit more because some of the shit makes a lot of fucking sense and things tend to go a little easier. Yeah. You know? I, I, and... I don't know. Like, I know people, too, who are like, I'm not Democrat or Republican. Or I'm independent. That, you know? <laughs> or, yeah, whatever. Like, they just maybe, I don't know. Like, me, when I first started paying attention, I was just naive, and I didn't understand what was what. Yeah. But it is weird how it seems like it, it switched. Um, Because, like, in the, you know, 50s, like, JFK, he was a Democrat, and he was the shit. Like, yeah. everybody loved him, you know? But, like... It's a different... But it was it was different than than what it is today with the Republican no yeah yeah, yeah. And, and like different, my, I liked JFK and my dad fucking loved Clinton and my dad was like I want to see Hillary Clinton be the president someday but this was in the nineties he was saying this shit you know right and like now he'd probably be like fuck that bitch <laughs> you know like it's <laughs> it's different because my dad always said that like democrats were for the unions and the working man and this and that and like oh republicans they're the fucking rich guys like fuck them guys they want to raise taxes and they're you know but it's like now it's 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 weird how it's fucking flip-flopped you know right. yeah and it's like all... when did this happen like what the fuck like i just it was just like you, overnight. You know, tell you, when these when these started getting these right here started getting uh popular when you when you had the fucking hand, the internet at the palm of your hand is when a lot of things. Yeah, happen. yeah. Clinton, uh, Ben said that people love Clinton too. Like, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Like, it just it seemed like everyone loved him too. He fuck he got us like three trillion dollars out of the hole. He, yeah, he got the three economy trillion up. dollars out of the hole. And then when Cheney, I call it Cheney's presidency. I don't think it was Bush's. I think Cheney was running the show. <laughs> but uh, yeah, when they fucking took over, like, didn't we go three trillion in the hole? So like six trillion dollars just fucking. Psh gone yeah. but what's funny too is like i'm naive man this is why i don't like to talk about politics because i don't know enough about it to have like a really solid conversation with somebody but i have i've just noticed people's behavior and the people who are on this side or that side and the way they talk and the way that they act and i've seen you know when trump was president everybody would just fucking hate him hate him hate him and uh it's all his fault. And then, but now that Biden's over those, you know, and uh, fucking unemployment's fucking sky high, gas is sky high, we're fucking you, all this bullshit, whatever. Everyone's like, it's not the president's fault. The president doesn't control gas prices and the president doesn't policies. control the economy and this and that. He, he and it's like, well, just a couple of fucking years ago, you were talking shit about my guy, how it was all his fault. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, but now, well, none of that fucking game. <laughs> It's just stupid. So, so Corey said that uh, with military recruitment being open and taking non GED or diploma folks, so it's fifty. Corey, uh, they lowered it. It's fifty. It's a uh, no GED, no high school, fifty on the ASVAB, and you would ha you have to ship this year. Like you can't what do, do the delayed ship? entry. So you can't do the delayed entry and be like, I'm going to ship out January of 2023. That's a thing. What I was in the delay. Like go overseas? No, ship to basic training. Okay, that's what I thought yeah. you meant. So, yeah, the ASVAB, I believe, is 50. That's pretty low. But, yeah, that's 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 where we're at, man. Like, I just, I just, I always thought it was silly how, and like, dude, 
I, I even hate using the word like Trump supporter. Like I just, it's just a stupid term to me. I think it's dumb, but like those people piss me off too. Like the let's go Brandon thing is the most ridiculous redneck shit I've ever heard in my fucking life. <laughs> just say fuck Joe Biden. You know, the let's go Brandon thing. Like I was on the smoke deck at work. And it, it was this black dude and like, he was like super pro Trump and he loved Trump, but, and I was listening to him, man. And he was saying some really cool things. And then he said some shit about let's go Brandon. And I stood up and walked away. I'm like, fuck this guy. Like, <laughs> like, like don't be so stupid. Like you yeah. make me look ignorant and dumb. You know what I mean? When you say things like that and I just, no, I, get it. I just, and you know, another thing too is like, nobody knows what I do or who I support or whatever. Cause I don't ever talk about it, but now that we're doing the podcast, I'm like, fuck it, dude, I'm just going to do it. But what's fucking funny is all these people are like, like, this is how they are. Like, Oh man, you're such a great dad, dude. I see you with your kids all the time. You're an amazing person. You're fucking talented. You're awesome. But then like, I see these people on Facebook and then they're like, Oh, if you vote for Trump, you're a piece of shit. Fuck oh, you. Yeah. You don't deserve to fucking yeah. have a nice Christmas and shit. But it's like, so if I, so like all that shit goes out the window, if I voted for that guy, like me being a good dad and a nice person and oh, yeah. coming into my house and drinking my beer and eating my food and coming to are my you, cookouts and kids' birthday parties, all that shit's out the window now. Like are, that's why you, I don't even fucking ready? tell people are shit. Are you ready why it's out the window? You ready? Yeah. These right here. No, oh, I know. No, I hide behind everyone... that talk shit about you all day and no, not I have to worry about getting throat punched. Uh yeah, it's the way it is, man. It's the way it's, it's always going to be. It's just weird now. Yeah. You can't have an opinion, and when you do, you're a fucking piece of shit. Like, I've lost so I just many like, of what I thought friends over my outlook and shit. Like, right. I have some true, like, left-winged friends that are hanging in there, and we can disagree. Like, I know this guy named Tom. Uh, some of his posts, I just want to, like, fucking go off because it his opinion, and I'm like, I'm I have different outlooks on it, but uh and i'll comment every once in a while and we leave it at that and then it's funny because he's like yo check out this fucking robert england glove i got signed i was like dude that's fucking awesome and then he makes a post about fucking fucking men and their goddamn what choices and shit i was like yeah dude. <laughs> you know what i mean it's like fuck you Tom. had me and then you lost me <laughs> and then you lost me and i'm like fuck but i ain't deleting him like if you can if you can fucking truck through my bullshit and i can truck through yours we're gonna be all right the unfollow button is uh where it's at you can just unfollow somebody you can be friends and you never see their posts and never come up i got a notification like if you if you unfriend me it's gonna tell me oh really yeah dude it's oh that's cool i didn't even know that i'll make and here's my secret i'll make posts on facebook sometime just to see who i see you unfollow me (laughs) really yeah that's funny uh it's whatever. I'm petty like that. I, I like to have a good time. I like to party. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's why when I when I'm drinking or you know with you around you and we we had a pretty good little shindig last weekend. I try to stay off this. <laughs> I'll be done slipped up and said made a post and be like I'm fucking fuck you liberals. I'm helicoptering right now. Come get you know something stupid oh, yeah. like that. It'd make no sense, but. Whatever. No, I get it. Yeah, I gotta stay off of uh, Facebook when I'm drunk too, because I don't, I don't like, I'll like might post some angry stuff or maybe some sad stuff, you know. And it's like, don't do that, you fucking dork. Yeah. Nobody cares anyway. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, fuck off. I don't know. We're at an hour and a half, man. I kind of want to save some of the political stuff for in the future. We can't burn it all up in one episode because yeah. we're just now starting to cross this bridge. No, absolutely. I'm. I don't. So we, there's, dude. Politics is forever, man. Yeah, and we're still gonna have topics. Don't get me wrong. When with what I said about a half hour ago or forty five minutes ago or whatever about oh, still gonna have gonna guests. Topics. Yeah, it, absolutely. As a matter of fact, on the eighth we have uh, Chevy. She is the makeup artist for my favorite band, Ice Nine Kills. She tours with them. She's the one who dresses up in costumes as characters from horror movies and comes out on stage. She dresses up like Reagan from The Exorcist and bends over backwards. And she dresses up like Georgie from It. She dresses up like Jason's mom. It's fucking awesome. She's super talented. Look her up on Instagram, Chevy Marie. And we're just going to sit and talk with her for an hour about, you know, her makeup skills and shit like that, dude. Yeah, that sounds good. And then other than that, we got a couple other guests that we were thinking about. Your buddy's going to come on, right? I am yeah, the hog Kevin, director. 
Yeah, Kevin, uh, Lockhart, Ben, Lawrence, they're going to come on, talk about a, uh, one of my favorite movies, High on a Hog. Uh, he's also working on another project he wants to get on and talk about. Kevin's like a really, really good friend of mine. Um, I, actually, now that we're talking, he texted me today, and I didn't text him back. Damn it. Well, you're an asshole for that. Yeah. I think he so, wanted yeah, to we're try gonna, to get we're to gonna get him July. On. So next Friday, Chevy, I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna like get a picture of her off Instagram and I'm gonna send it to you and then just make the flyer real quick. That way we can start pushing it. Yeah, she's yeah, not, just do she's probably like, there. what the fuck, man? Send me the you fucking, fucking flyer. Assholes. I'm right. talented, you two pieces, pieces of shit. shit. <laughs> exactly, exactly. How so, dare you? Right. <laughs> so yeah, uh Please donate us all your money to the Patreon, or at least five bucks a month. I'm okay with five bucks a month. That's fine. We got T-shirts for sale. Thank you all who contribute to the Patreon and have bought merch. Also, please feel free to hit us up and tell us topics that you want us to touch, man. Yeah, absolutely. Like, or hit us up and tell us how much you hate this episode. Like, I will take feedback. I'm not. Yeah, gonna the, fucking the first half hour was shit. awful. So, but. Yeah, just don't don't be afraid to tell us to fuck off or tell us to keep up the good work and um, give us ideas on topics. I would love to do that. So yeah. let's uh, get the fuck out of here, I guess, man. Yep. Uh, oh, check when when I cut when I click off this, everybody that's watching, check out this cool meme that I put up on. Yeah, here. we're gonna put it's gonna this on a t-shirt. t-shirt. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. I'll holler at you later, dude. All right, brother. Later. Yeah. Computer's acting up. What's this computer doing? It's a pretty bomb ass meme. Thank you for tuning in to our little Passion Project podcast. Remember, we go live every single Friday night, same damn time, same damn channel. So if you miss it, don't blame us.